Hey everyone, it's me, Peachy Bear Paradise, and today's video is Bad Rat Cages. And this is the other part to my previous video, Good Rat Cages. So I hope you learn about the bad cages for rats, and I'll give you examples of what types of cages to avoid for rats. So first, a quick cage rule. If the size is under the minimum of 80 by 50 by 60 centimetres, then it's not suitable. That is the absolute minimum and you do not want to go under this size. Also keep in mind, 2 square feet per rat. Go watch my previous video if you want to learn more about the cage conditions and of course the good cages. Ok, let's get started. Bad rat cages. The first type are hamster cages. You should never house rats in any hamster cage, they are all unsuitable for rats and I will explain why. So here I have lots of very small hamster cages which are too small for hamsters and definitely not suitable for rats. So we have some by Super Pet, Habitrail and Savic. So the reason why I've included hamster cages in this video is because there are some people who have mistaken rats as big hamsters with long tails. When they are nothing like that, hamsters and rats require complete different needs, so keep that in mind. All of these don't offer hardly any ground space, the width is very small and the depth is very small too and there's hardly no height for even one climb. Some don't even have bars, which is terrible, and all makes the unsuitable. Even if it's a huge hamster cage, for example the Alexander hamster cage, this is the biggest cage sold for hamsters. Although it offers wonderful ground space, the height is under the minimum, and any hamster cage height will never add up to what a rat needs because it's designed for hamsters and not rats. So no hamster cage is suitable for rats. Next are guinea pig and rabbit cages. Please don't house your rats in these cages, they are not suitable. Most of their cages here are actually too small for rabbits and guinea pigs anyway. So as you can see, most of them have small ground space, but all of them don't provide enough height for rats to climb either, so they are all unsuitable and please avoid any rabbit and guinea pig cages altogether. Another type are bird cages. Now there are some good sized bird cages out there and you can modify them, but there are those certain cages which are just not suitable no matter how much you upgrade them. So here we have a couple of small bird cages. So these all have very small ground space, not much height and are just far too small to house rats in, so please avoid bird cages like this. Next type are ferret cages. Again, there are some great sized ferret cages that you can house rats in, but there are also lots of small ones like these which are not suitable. So these are all too small for ferrets and definitely for rats. They don't provide enough ground space and some don't provide enough height space like this middle cage, so please don't buy any ferret cages this size. Next we have lots of small rat cages. So first up we have three cages which are sold for rats, the Penny Rat Cage, Merry Rat Cage and the Rat Mamble 80. All of them provide good ground space, however some don't provide hardly any height apart from the Rat Mamble. This provides more height than the other two but still not enough to meet the minimum so therefore making it unsuitable for rats. And any cages like this, too low, are not suitable. So next we have the Rene Rat Cage. Although the height is very good, it's actually over the minimum size, the ground space is not very good and it's too small, so for that reason I would avoid this cage. Another one is the Lazy Bones 4 Story Blue Rodent Cage on Wheels. So this cage doesn't give that much ground space, although the cage is very high, the ground space lets it down, which is why you should avoid this cage, including other similar cages to this. Another one is this Martin's cage. Some of these can be okay sized, but to make it safe you must cover up all the levels well, as there is mesh on them which is not very good for rats feet. But there's a lot of small sized cages like this one, which are way too small, the ground space isn't very big and it doesn't provide enough height for climbing because you have these low levels in the way. And on quite a dangerous note, I noticed when looking at the cage, it actually has some sharp pieces which stick into the cage and all it takes is for the rat to get their tail caught in it, or worse, have their eyes poked out or injured and they could cut their feet on them, so this is terribly built. I suggest you avoid these type cages just to be safe. So then we have the Fruit Plus Rat Cage. Now this cage is not that suitable because it's actually under the minimum size for all three, 80 by 50 by 60 centimetres. The ground space is not that great, the height space isn't enough, and depth also isn't very good. So I wouldn't recommend this as a full-time cage, however okay as a temporary or quarantine, but not as a full-time living cage. And the last of the small cages is this Super Pet My First Home Deluxe cage. 
Now, some may disagree as quite a few house have rats in this in other countries and even recommend it, but I have to be honest with what makes it unsuitable. So the main reason why it's in this list is because it's actually under the minimum size. It only offers two square feet of floor space, which is not enough for two rats. Remember the cage rule, two square feet per rat. So for two rats, you will need four square feet of floor space and this cage does not give you that. Therefore, making it not suitable for two or more rats, only one. Although it offers a good amount of height space, it's the ground space that lets it down. However, I would suggest having this cage as quarantine, so for one rat that is ill, or if one of your rats cannot get along with the other pack and has to be housed alone, which in some cases can happen, then it'd be okay for that one rat to live in it. Also, the wheel that comes with the cage, please throw it away. One, it's wire mesh, which is not good for rats' feet. It can cause swelling and sores, so bumblefoot, and it would not suit any small pet rodent. And I generally don't advise wheels for rats anyway, so please discharge it. Next ones are cages with bad ventilation. So first up, we have large glass tanks. Although they offer plenty of ground space, they have no bars for climbing, and a mesh grid does not provide them with enough air ventilation. Rats have very sensitive respiratory systems, so they need a huge amount of air circulation to breathe well in, so it's best they're housed in barred cages where lots of air can flow through. If housed in one of these, they can find it hard to breathe well and the respiratory systems can react to the lack of ventilation, which could also lead to major breathing problems in early or later stages of their life. Also, what a lot of people don't know is that rats' wee is very strong, and if there's a lack of ventilation, then they can constantly breathe in that in, and that can also irritate their respiratory systems. So please avoid tanks. And this includes any cages with tanks attached. For example, these two cages. Here we have a Savic Gerbilarium and a Super Pet Cage Topper. Not only are they way too small, but they both have tanks right underneath them. So again, lack of ventilation, definitely not suitable for rats. Another similar one would be a Zoo Zone 2 cage. Although it gives wonderful ground space, it doesn't provide enough height and there's nowhere they can climb. Obviously the sides are all plastic, which also means it doesn't provide enough ventilation for rats, even with that huge bar grid on top. So please avoid cages like Zoo Zones. Same thing goes for large bin cages. Although these offer good ground space, they won't provide any bar climbing and won't be providing enough air ventilation, even with a huge mesh grid. So you might as well go for the easier option and pick a barred cage. So please avoid any of the above cages or anything similar to them. I also understand that it's quite hard for certain countries to find good sized cages, as many cages sold for rats are generally too small. But if you haven't already checked out my good rat cages video, I would suggest doing that as you may find some good sized cages, they're not just safe for rats, but can be suited to them which are available in your country that you might not have discovered yet. So that's the video, and they are most of the bad rat cages you need to be wary of and avoid. And I hope by seeing the types of cages in this video, you now know what cages to avoid when looking at a certain cage for your rats. Remember, don't go for any cage, check the cage first and make sure it meets the right conditions for your rats, and you should be great. I really hope you found this helpful and it gave you a good insight on bad cages and what a bad cage consists of. So any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you like our videos and you like what you see, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video and learnt something new, then don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye!